name is Stephanie and welcome back to our life and death series. In this video, I'm going to show you five life and death questions in different levels. So let's get started by the 30 to 20 Q question. So that's the question and uh, black to play and co is incorrect. So we have to clean kill that group. So as we can see, white already have a potential eye over here. So if we just kill this eye, since the corner is a bent three, and now it's white's turn, and the white is able to take the vital point and then live. So this question will require black kill the corner first in center and come back to kill the eye in the center. So how are we able to do that? And where is the vital point? So since that's the bent three shape, the vital point will be in the center. And the reason why that's also a center move is because if white make the eye in the center, and then what black is able to pull that stone back. So white has to block, and now black is able to kill the eye on the top. So the corner is dead, then this eye is, is destroyed, so the entire group only has one eye. All right, so now let's look at the next example. So this is a 19 to 10 Q question. And black to play, and black has to clean kill that white group. So um, by looking at this question, it seems white has a quite uh, enough eye space. So one, two, three, four, five. So the bent five is obviously a live shape. So that means to simply push here is the wrong move. So if we are able to reduce the white's eye space, and then black is able to kill that group. So where is the move so that it can reduce the white's eye, eye space? Will be the attachment move here. So if black doesn't have the stone on the first line, if we don't have the stone right here, this entire group is already alive because we're not able to enter the eye space here. Since we have one more stones on the first line, and that makes the attachment move here work. Because if white tries to block, that's a self Atari, and white is, black is able to capture. So white has to block on the top. Now, well, black connects back, and that's also a Atari move. White has to connect, and then the eye space becomes to a straight three, and then black is able to take the vital point. So the group is dead. Okay, so now let's look at the next question. This is a nine to one Q question. So black to play and co is incorrect. So the first instinct by looking at this question is, how is it possible to kill this group? White already have two eyes. So there's an eye on the top, and there's an eye on the, in the corner. If I try to kill that eye, it won't work. So there are two eyes. So how is it possible to kill this group then? Okay. Since black has one stone on the, uh, on the first line here, we have to take advantage of the liberty. The white's liberty are very tight, and we'll have to use that. Okay, so the correct move is by throwing here. If white captures, now we're able to kill that eye. So that means white has to connect here to secure the eye on the top. And then since I made this exchange move, now I'm able to Atari here, and the white captures, then I'm able to enter the corner and kill the eye in the corner. All right, uh, so now let's look at the next example. So this is a one to four down question, and black to live. So as we can see in this question, black already have one eye. So we have to find the second eye on the bottom. So co is incorrect. But the two stones right here only has a two liberties. So if we try to block here, it won't work. So black, white is going to win the capture race. But if we connect the two stones back, and white pull the stone, pull the whole group back, and still um, black is sorry. I'm missing a stone on the on the outside. Otherwise, uh, black is able to push out. So, but connecting these two stones won't help this group to make the second eye. So somehow we have to take advantage of the two stones, 
and create the eye on the bottom. Um, if we just simply play the tiger's bell right here, that will be a co. So if white connects here, black now is able to use the kosumi, and then the tari here. Uh, in that situation, that will be a, a life. So white, that means white has to fight the co at the beginning right here. But as we said at, at the beginning of the, the question, ko is incorrect. So black has to make the second eye on the bottom. Then how are we able to do that? Right. So since the four stones right here, the liberties are very tight. And we, if we are able to block here in sente and then come back to connect right here, then we'll have the second eye. So the correct move is the attach here. So after attach, black, uh, white is not able to kill the stone anymore. So if white tries to kill either here or here, it doesn't matter because black will always Atari from the back. And then Atari again. So now you can see black has two liberties and white only has one liberty. So black wins this capture race. So after attach, white has to come back to kill the two stones or connect on the bottom. And then now I can use the Atari in Sente and then connect here. And then I will have the second eye on the bottom. So this group is alive. All right, so now let's look at the last question. So the last is a five to seven done question. All right, so by looking at this question, uh, white has some eye space on the top, and then one eye on the bottom over here, and another eye by playing the tiger's mouth over here. Plus, I can still connect the stones on the top and escape. So how is this possible? How is black able to clean kill this whole group? So Ko is incorrect in this question. We have to clean kill. So most, many of my students solve this question in Ko, but I already said the Ko is incorrect. Mm, so where should we start then? All right, I will give you a hint. So black needs to take advantage of the liberty. So the entire group right here, the liberty is very tight. So where is the starting move? The starting move is the Atari. And a white has to connect. And this is the, definitely we need this move. Otherwise, if white connects here, everything is it's escaped. So we have to block here. And since I made a tari here, this, uh, the five stones right here, the liberty are very tight. So white has to come back to kill the stone and secure the eye on the top. So let me show you what many of my students did. So the Atari, white captures. If we simply connect, that won't work because as we said earlier, um, white is able to make one of the tiger's mouth to make the eye on either side. But if black make the tiger's mouth on the first line, so after white goes here, black blocks, and white makes the eye here, and then black is able to descend, white connects, and then black now is able to throw in. So black actually can start a co here. But I already said co is incorrect. So how is that possible? How are we able to use one move to prevent white from making one of the tiger's mouth. Because if we Atari from the top, white is able to make the tiger's mouth on the bottom to make out another eye. If we Atari on the bottom, that would be the same thing. And white is able to make another tiger's mouth and make another eye. So where is the move? The move is right here. Surprise! Okay, so why does that move work? So let's say if white still wants to expand the eye space and make a tiger's mouth. So instead of I'm going to connect right here, black now is able to keep extending. And even though I have a cutting point, the weakness here, but I still have enough eye space, oh sorry, I still have enough liberties to fight against the stone on the, top, uh, on the cutting point. Now black has three liberties and the white only has two. 
So that move doesn't work. And white says, okay, so that's the first line move. It's very dangerous. Why do I just simply Atari here and then kill that stone? All right, so after white Atari from the top, instead of I'm going to use the Atari here and then I have to connect back and give white a chance to make uh, the tiger's mouth and can capture the stone, I will use the weakness from the top by descending here. So I would not use the Atari from here, instead I will use the Atari on the top. So if white make the tiger's mouth here, now I will Atari and extend. Now you can see the eye space on the bottom and it's gone. The white is not able to make two eyes. So if white captures here, that will be the same thing. I can make Atari and descend here to kill the second eye. All right, so these are the five questions. So if you like the videos, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave the comments below, go to our website, or follow us on Twitter and Facebook page. So my name is Stephanie and I will see you next time.